Hey everybody, it's Michael with Total Physical Therapy. Listen, I'm so excited that you joined in today, hopefully to gain some insight and some understanding as to what it means to differentiate your cost of physical therapy when it specifically pertains to utilizing your insurance on an in-network status with a facility of your choice. So let's break this down a little bit. Number one, insurance use with physical therapy. Is it covered? Absolutely. Does it differ? Absolutely. Should you understand your differences? 100%. Let's walk you through that. Well, first of all, is cost universal? Unfortunately, the answer to this is no. Not only is it not universal within the world of rehab, it's not universal with any other aspects of your healthcare either. So I encourage you, the consumer, to gain some understanding, be educated, and make your best informed decision related to your needs. So let's talk about why the costs are not universal. They're not universal for, one, for a couple simple reasons. First reason being, your rates differ from one facility to the next. Now, they're gonna differ among setting types. What I mean by this is they're gonna vary from outpatient private institutions to outpatient hospital institutions to outpatient um, physician-owned facilities, inpatient work, uh, skilled nursing, home health, there's a, multi, there, there's a myriad of uh, physical therapy settings and your costs are going to fluctuate depending on the setting. Let's make it even more simple because I want to structure this down to uh, my setting. I am an outpatient private institution. My rates are contractually arranged with multiple insurance carriers just like with other settings. Now, where this affects you, the consumer, is that my contracted rates may be substantially different from facilities A, B, C, or D down the road. Now, why does this matter? Well, bring to light a couple recent examples as to um, phone calls that I, that I fielded um, that sparked my desire to do this video. Case number one. An individual called our facility. Um, they went to another local facility in Amarillo. They did not receive any type of insurance uh, verification. They did not uh, receive any type of financial responsibilities um, before their facility, uh, I'm sorry, before their visit, during their visit, or af even after their visit. This blows my mind, but I have to reflect on going to uh, certain other providers where I didn't receive that either. Now, I'm not calling out providers on this situation. Sometimes the, the, the facilities just don't spend the time to pay attention to the details because it does get uh, quite convoluted and it requires a lot of work to, to best understand this situation. So uh, back to the example, this individual went um, for one session of physical therapy, returned for their second session, and upon departure from their second session, they were informed of what their costs were going to be for every uh, individual session. And the costs were right around $300 per session. Now, they hadn't met their deductible, and so this was 100% uh, responsibility for the patient. Now, they called our facility with the simple question of um, would your services cost any different than what I've been told at this other facility? So what we did um, and what we do with everybody that comes through our door is we obtained their insurance information, we verified their benefits, and I was glad to be able to call that patient back and say that their service was services with our facility, even still not having met their deductible, they were gonna be a, a little more than 50% less than what they were at that other facility. Again, why that happens? It varies because of the contracted rates with individual facilities. Example number two, an individual went for two sessions they did not receive any type of information ahead of time, nor during, but were informed after their second therapy session that their total due in full before their third physical therapy session was over $800. You heard me right, over $800 for two therapy sessions. Now, 
They also revealed what they received in those two therapy sessions. And while that's a conversation for another day, I would argue to say that they didn't receive what they were exactly looking for. Now, part of this on the individual lies in the fact that they didn't have any full understanding because they had never been to physical therapy before. And this tends to be a lot of the questions and, and misunderstanding that we get over the phone is, is from individuals that have never, never experienced therapy before. So I hope that if that's you, you are hearing this message and understanding what we do at Total Physical Therapy. Now that individual that spent over $800 for two therapy sessions would have saved over $600 had they come to our facility and um, received very similar interventions. Now this just boils down to price transparency. It is unfortunate that we do not have a uh, absolute necessity for facilities to have price transparency when it comes to your health care. That's why at Total Physical Therapy, we vow to be as price transparent as we possibly can. What does this mean? It means that before you step into a foot in our facility, we obtain your insurance benefits. We obtain your insurance information and verify those benefits. We're going to verify those benefits and we're going to uh, compare those benefits to what we typically do in um, the majority of therapy sessions. Now it's quite simple, when we obtain the benefits ahead of time, we understand what we are going to do as a provider for you, we can get it down within dollars, dollars of your actual cost responsibilities. Now I don't know about you, but if I go into a facility and they tell me that I'm going to owe X amount of dollars, I anticipate that it's going to be relatively close to that dollar figure. Now, why can't we get it exact? Well, because that would require us to, um, ahead of time, without having even seen you and having any type of understanding of your history and what you'll actually need from us, it's very hard for us to um, make that conclusion before we've even talked to you. But we do our best to get within dollars. And when it's in within dollars, I think everybody would be okay with a bill actually being different by five to six dollars as opposed to being told that you're going to have an eight hundred dollar bill after two sessions of physical therapy. All right, so there's two examples as to why your costs are going to vary from one facility to the next. So how do we get there at total? Price transparency. Simply put, we want your benefits ahead of time give you that information, but we don't want to stop there. If it sounds odd or different to you, admittedly, we don't always get an accurate uh, representation from your insurance as to what your benefits truly are. You might have received some services recently that unfortunately hadn't been billed to your insurance yet when we called and verified those benefits. So if there are any questions, then we're not going to leave you in the dark. We're going to actually encourage that you be an active uh, part of this process too and verify your own benefits with your own insurance. You know what you've received in your, in your own health care better than we do outside of our facility. So if you are very familiar with some things that have been done recently, some tests that have been done, some, some images that have been taken, etc., um, you can simply call your insurance and you can uh, obtain the information from them as to whether or not those services have been billed yet. So if that leaves you out in the dark, because I know I've been out in the dark before and knowing exactly what to call and ask my insurance company, then we'll help guide you. We're going to give you um, a list of the most common interventions that we're actually going to bill to your, in, your, to your insurance. And you can call your own insurance and you can say, I'm going to go to Total Physical Therapy and they want... Uh, they are going to most likely be billing for these services and you can quite simply ask them what your out-of-pocket expenses are going to be. It's that simple. Um, you can verify the information that we've been given. So here are some things that we need to look at when it comes to um, understanding your cost relative to your rehab, uh, rehabilitative needs. Um, and again, I'm specifically talking about outpatient basis here, um, but some of these um, ideas can be uh, extracted in other realms of therapy too. But here's what I recommend asking. Number one, 
you want to ask a facility that you're potentially going to hire, do they verify your benefits before your first session? Again, as I mentioned earlier, Total Physical Therapy does. We don't want you stepping foot in, into our facility being blinded or in the dark about uh, your responsibility. So we're going to help guide you along that process before you even step foot in our doors. Number two, if you want to call your own insurance and verify them, we'll tell you what you need to ask. We'll give you the input. We won't leave you, leave you out in the dark with this one either. We're, we're going to lead, lead you uh, down the journey of what you need to ask your insurance when you call and verify your own benefits. Number three. As I already mentioned, you need to ask a facility, can you provide me with my anticipated costs? And if they say they can, ask them how close that representation is. As I mentioned before, we're going to get you within dollars, okay? Most of the time we're going to get you an exact dollar amount, but we're going to be pretty close um, if, if we're off by anything. So I hope you found this information um, not only uh, educational, but encouraging. Uh, because you do have the right to pick your facility. Uh, let me bring, bring that to light as I've talked about on a number of occasions. It is actually against the law for any provider to demand that you go to any specific facility. It is your equal right to go wherever you choose, whether that be an in-network provider or an out-of-network provider. You have the legal right to seek physical therapy with anybody of your choice. Which brings me to my next point. You need to understand your providers. Understand um, what you're seeking. You might not know what you're looking for, especially if you haven't been to physical therapy, but what you're seeking has a specific structure, and if you have a specific request, specific um, uh, demands, then simply call ahead of time. Be glad to talk to you here. I talk to lots and lots of people before they ever step foot in this facility to make sure that myself, and this team are the right fit for them. If you're not the right fit for us because we offer therapy in a manner that doesn't suit your needs, then I'll simply let you know. So I hope you found this educational, informative, and it helps you make your best informed decision when it comes to understanding your cost of physical therapy when seeking in an in-network facility. Have a great day.